hello everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing good so today we're going to be making a cow dress or a kaftan dress so I'm working with three and a half meters of velvet fabric so if you're making this kind of dress you need something a fabric a soft fabric is that you use a chiffon or a very light this is a very light a velvet fabric you need a very light fabric for this um, dress so the drape can come out very well so let's get to it I'm using three and a half meters of fabric so this is for the dress I'm gonna be using the plain velvet for the sleeve you know so I'm gonna be missing it up so we'll start by folding the fabric into two if you're making this kind of dress you will need a length of 16 inches you don't fold it this way so what you do is to take it and fold it like so so you fold it like so then you fold it okay so it's folded into four. So it is folded into four now. So the length of my dress is 58 inches. Now go ahead and place the measurement. First, I will take the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by two, which is eight inches. So I'll mark my eight inches here. So we're not cutting anything out from here. This is just a extended shoulder. So I have a, about a, after the shoulder measurement, I have about 22 inches here. So that is why I said if you need this kind of, if you're making this kind of style, you need a 16 inches length of fabric. So we're not taking anything away from this side. I'm taking four inches for the wideness of the neck, and I'm taking four inches for the depth. I'll connect the lines together. Four for the width, four for the depth. So I will take my shoulder slant. So after the neckline, I will take my shoulder slant. I will take it right from the neckline here. All the way to the length of this, to the other side. Where the shoulder, um, shoulder measurement ends, then I will take 8 inches for my armhole. Now I'll mark my armhole here. Now I'll make a curve. Take my curve ruler and curve it. Right for my shoulder, I'll measure 34 inches. That should be four to five inches above my my knee. So 34 inches, depending on how you want it, you can take, go down if you want. So this is 34 inches, and I'll make a line here. This place I place my mark, this 34 inches. Right here, I will place my hip measurement. The hip measurement I'm working with is 46 inches divided by four, which is 11 and a half inches. I'll add two inches for ease and one inch for seam allowance. So I'm adding total of three inches to it. So 11 and a half inches plus two inches, that is 13 and a half inches, then plus one inch for sewing allowance. That is 14 and a half inches. So I'll mark my 14 and a half inches here. So I'll mark this 14 and a half inches all the way down to the length of the dress. So this 14 and a half inches I place here, that is the hip measurement. I added some ease to it. I will mark it all the way down to the length of the dress. On this 34 inches length where I place the hip measurement, this is the hip measurement plus is, then I will take it from here, take it up and curve it. So 
I'll curve it to meet this ends here. So on this place, I will curve it, take it up. to this side here. So this is how I look. So that just it. We'll go ahead and cut the fabric. I'll cut the neck first. And I'll cut out the shoulder slant. And that will take it to the sleeve. Now go to the slant again. And I will cut this place out. So we cut it right from here this cover I made, then I will take it all the way to the length of the dress. So after cutting it, I will bring the front and the back out now. So this is the deck, the shoulder, the sleeve and the extended shoulder. So I'm going to open it up. So I'll make sure the right side are facing each other. The front and the back neckline are basically cut to the same. So I'm pinning the shoulder here. I will stop here. This is where the armhole starts from. Then I will start pinning it again. After pinning it, this is the place I will sew. I will sew shoulder here, leave the armhole open. This is the neckline, this is the shoulder, so this is the armhole, this is the extended, uh, extended sleeve or extended uh, shoulder. So I will sew this place also, sew it round to this curve, to this curve, to the bottom. Yeah, to the bottom, I will do the same thing to this side. I will sew it here, here, this side, to the shoulder here. This place will be left on so that is where I will attach the arm, uh, the sleeve. And I will sew the shoulder here. Then this is the to the neckline. I finish sewing the side and then the shoulder. So I will turn it to the right side. So you can see this is the armhole, this is the neckline, this is the other armhole. This is the tan. So I will go ahead and uh, attach my sleeve to it. I said I will be using this plain velvet fabric for the sleeve. This is a, a basic sleeve. So I have series of videos on how to cut an attached sleeve to a dress. So I don't want to go through it over and over again. So if you want to know how I cut out the sleeve, you can go to my channel. I have a video on how to draft a sleeve there. So this is my basic sleeves. If you want to make it short sleeve, it depends on your or three quarter. This, this is 23 inches length. So I will take it and attach it to it. So I will go ahead and I turn the, the, the dress. I will turn it to the wrong side so I can attach my sleeve to it. So, so 
so this is the armhole and this is the sleeve I will tuck this inside the right side so you tuck the right side of the sleeve inside the, the dress so I will match the side seam of the sleeve match it together to the side this is the longer side of the shoulder this is the short side and this is the neckline so do same scene I will match it to the side I will match it to the longer side the extended sleeve then I will pin pin it So I will do the same thing to the other side, still tuck this inside and then pin it together. So I will stitch the sleeve to the dress, so the arm hold around. So the neckline, I will use this as a bias tape. This is a facing I cut out for the neckline. I will sew it like so, the right side are facing each other. After sewing it, then I will flame this to the wrong side. Then stitch it around the neck again so guys i finished hemming the neck and i've also attached the sleeve to the dress so this is where this is the shoulder this is where i attach my sleeve so let me take it to the down side there's the down I didn't hem the bottom of the dress because the savage is okay. So this is the bottom. It's too wide so the table is not big. So this is one side. This is the sleeve. This is the other side. Here is the sleeve. So, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if this is your first time of watching my video. I will see you on my next one. Love you. Bye.